Here is tweezers, a long nose guard. A rescue from about, um, I want to say two years ago, maybe three. It came to us at about a foot and a half. Currently, it's probably closer to three feet, maybe two and a half feet. Yeah, about two and a half, three feet. An interesting fish, unusual appearance. Took him a bit of time to learn to take larger pieces of fish or whole fish. I noticed that its appetite waxes and wanes depending on the season. When the summers come it eats less for some time. I don't know if it's normal or why it does that. I'm not. I, I, don't, I wouldn't think it's sexually mature. It's probably about three years old. Maybe it is already. But it, it's much better for us in the cooler times of year. Never has any problems with tank mates. in either direction doesn't attack anybody and the tank mates leave them alone this fish grow big in the wild like five feet is normal I mean it's not normal but five feet is not uncommon to to hear of anglers catches of about five feet We live up, up north in the Great Lakes, so they survive the cold water and the ice water. A true ambush predator, I don't know if you caught it right now, it was coming up on us head on, and its profile is tiny. A fish that sees it coming on head on has no idea that the fish behind that profile is that big. All gars supplement breathing air, as you have just seen, it's gulping air. There are prehistoric living fossils supplementing their gill action with gulping air, so they survive in the conditions which are not friendly, low oxygen, high temperature, if they have to. Ganoid scales are wonderful, it's, they're like armor, pretty unique for, for the gar pikes of Northern America. Very cautious fish, doesn't like when I'm around or when I'm feeding, it never comes over, stays way back and watches. Yeah, I'd say tip to tip, it's, it's three feet. It was swimming right next to our large Oxidorus Niger and the body length is about the same, it's just uh, thin as a stick Lately I stopped cutting fish pieces for this tank 
lately, I mean like half a year ago. And I just throw in a whole, whole fish and it, uh, it struggles a little bit because this fish is designed to take smaller, thinner prey. So whole herring that is 6 to 8 inches, it didn't like at first that it had to take it, but eventually it took it. It started taking it and it's been taking it okay. A bit with a less appetite or less vigor as it did with fish pieces when I was cutting those herring in three, four pieces. It took more. But it's been learning and uh, if it gets a particularly large herring it tries a few times and then just drops it and waits for the smaller one. Just gulp some air again. This is our one and only uh, long nose guard. We used to have a lot of them and uh, back when we did the, the rescue in Rochester, New York, we had about three or four of them. Here this is one first. This in Florida is, is the first and only one we had. So they're not commonly kept here, even though they also live in Florida here, you can catch them in Florida. Not only in uh, up north, but also down south as well. I don't know if it's the same, it's, it's got to be the same species because I'm not aware of different species of long nosed gar. Kind of, kind of like the same as alligator gar. The Florida gar and the spotted gar are different species, of course. And the Florida gar is the southern variant, and the spotted gar is uh, the northern variant. But for the long noses, I think they're all the same, to my knowledge, anyway. Well, thank you for watching.